Well, I figured I'd do a quick update for what's going on in the lab. So, now we have a gigabit switch. Plan on doing a bit of an upgrade on that. 3HP T5740 thin clients. 32-bit Atom processors with 2 gigabytes of RAM. A 4 gigabyte uh, disk on module on these guys. But if you notice, this guy's a little fatter than usual. Well, that's because I tore him down and I bought the expansion and the riser for this guy. So this is running uh, a much beefier uh, power supply. Now, I routed the, the power supplies down here. And you know what? They never sell these thin clients with power supplies and they always try to rip you off. But you know what? Here's a quick little tip for anyone who wants to play with these fun little thin clients. Believe it or not, the standard HP uh, DV series laptop chargers you can get for about $15 used. I quite literally have a box of these somewhere. Uh, you know what? I will try to read you the exact model number. That is, and I know you can read it, but it's DC359A. Okay? These things power the thin clients perfectly fine. For the fat client, I would definitely want to use something with a little bit more output amperage. I made a little uh, universal one. So what this guy is going to do, he's my powerhouse. He's the one that I'm going to be basically throwing as much hardware I can inside and just torturing the crap out of. Uh, this guy is most likely going to be my network attached storage. Uh, I've done some teardown already, but I, I don't have any uh, footage. I have images. But there's onboard serial ATA. There's Up here, there's usually two secret, uh, they call them secret or secure uh, USB ports. So uh, one of these, this guy right here, I'm going to attach uh, a dual Elonix 4000 uh, uh, SDR with our, uh, our, oh man, it's tongue twister, RTL TCP. So what this guy is going to do is give the world uh, live access to my software defined radios. This guy is going to be turned into my network attached storage. So what I've currently done now, you know, here's all my my radio stuff that everyone's familiar with. Um, and I've got the floating panel and I wound up digging up this old Belkin uh, KVM with USB. So now I can power these guys up. And I got to admit, they run really quiet. And once this guy comes up, now I don't have any operating systems installed yet. As you can see. So they're all give they're giving me the both the same error. So and that's that's another good thing. It's really nice to see that whomever sold these on eBay wiped the disk on module before shipping out because there have been times I have gotten my hands on thin clients that had immediate remote desktop sessions connecting into things that I should not have had access to. All right, hope you enjoy the video everyone. More to come later.